My name is Mark Helms. I'm from Plant City, Florida. I'm 42. I've had a, a pretty good life besides the ups and downs, you know, of, of being addicted to drugs. Family life, my mom and dad were, were very good parents for what they knew, you know. My dad was a coach of my baseball team and my mother, you know, she was a hard working home, stay at home mom. My name's Sean Boulson. I'm 36 years old. I was born in Troy, New York. And I was born into a really dysfunctional family. My mother was a, an alcoholic and a drug addict. My father, you know, they were really never there. You know, I had a, you know, the, the to-do life, you know. I had the house, the, everything I thought I was supposed to have, you know, and everything seemed to unravel. My addictions creeped back in into my life and destroyed a, a good marriage. My father, he eventually left my mother and she went back to New York with my sister and it was just me and my brother staying in Ransom Canyon. And me and my brother went into child, child protective services and I spent the next nine years of my life you know, in various foster homes, children's homes. I ended up in jail, and, but I never surrendered to God. I never surrendered to Jesus. I never, never took the time to think that there was anything other than me out there that would make it happen. In 2006, I, uh, I went to prison for the first time for a burglary. Got gang involved, started running with the wrong people. Didn't really change anything. You no know, prison just taught me how to be a better criminal, not a better person. And then just out of the first time I cried out for help, God sent the uh, chaplain to see me that same day. Got tired of it, I wanted to do something different. I actually got into my Bible and started talking to, to some of the people, kind of slid back a little bit from, from my homeboys. I started attending a class in the jail with Chaplain Perry. He got me in contact with uh, Chad Everett out at the farm. He came up and visited me. He actually came into the pod and we sat down and had a meeting and he just asked me what I wanted to do with my life. I told him, you know, I just want, I want to change. I wanted to do something different. If I didn't do something different, then I was going to spend the rest of my life in the penitentiary. I believed in God, but I really didn't know where the answers were going to come from. I found out about the farm I was on when I was in jail and I told the, the person at the PR bomb place, I'm like, if you let me out of this place, I'm going to end up dying out here. At that moment, I'm all I got, my hope is the only thing I have is in Jesus. I had no hope in me, my family. The only place I really had to, to go was I trusted God and Jesus. That he was going to do something amazing in my life. And, and what he did was he showed me multiple things. You know, since I've been here, I've had the opportunity to go out and serve in the community at uh, Tent City, at the Dream Center. You know, just anybody that, that needed any kind of help or assistance, I've been able to go and help them out. And being in multiple farms also taught me a great deal of uh, service work, learning how to be a servant, not looking to myself, but looking into others that have way less than me. I've met a lot of wonderful people, you know, established a lot, of, a lot of friendships with people that normally I wouldn't have had any kind of association with. To be servants, to learn how to love, the, love your neighbor learn how to love people unconditionally. I just want to say to all the people that, uh, that I don't get to see that are behind the scenes of Multifarm, you know, that are continually giving, and we just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is a life-changing uh, mission that they, they got going here. Yeah. This is God's work. There's many programs out there, but there's not one that changes lives, and this one does. So i just like to say thank you to all y'all. It's just been a wonderful experience, a life-changing experience, and I just want to thank everybody that's played a part however big or however small, just encouraged me or spoke to me or tried to help me anyway. It's because of you that all this is possible and that I am who I am today. Thank you.